fee fi fo fum natty or not here i come i'm not on steroids I don't know how many times I need to clarify this. A couple years ago, we talked about Logan Paul and his alleged steroid use. To me, it's always seemed rather obvious why people like Logan Paul would look to performance-enhancing drugs to further their career. After all, he is a hyper-competitive millionaire who has access to almost every resource under the sun and seeks to gain a profit off of his physique. He is, in fact, signed to the WWE and is a walking billboard for his snake oil product, Prime. A couple years ago, we broke down his rapid physique changes and his training and came to the conclusion that it really doesn't add up that Logan Paul would be natural. But what has changed over the last few years? Well, there's been some rather interesting developments, especially during this entire Dylan Dennis vs. Logan Paul saga. For those of you who are not aware, Logan Paul is set to box grappler and jujitsu world champion Dylan Dennis in October. Now, the entire the entire internet has turned on Logan Paul, especially on Twitter. For the past couple months or so, Logan Paul has been getting cooked and ratioed on Twitter on a seemingly daily basis by Dylan Dennis and his employment of meme warfare. Now the Logan Paul Dylan Dennis beef has actually been heating up for years and the lore behind that deserves its own video, but there's been some very interesting accusations being thrown on both sides. Mainly, Logan Paul being on steroids in preparation for this boxing match. Well, leading up to this fight, Logan Paul has released various pictures and videos in which his physique looks, in my opinion, drastically different. Now, maybe if you're an untrained person or a parasocial 12-year-old, you can chalk up Logan's recent gains to drinking more bottles of Prime. But I know a fake natty when I see one, and Logan Paul is off the goop. Let's take a look at all the different steroid accusations coming Logan's way. Then maybe we can come to our own conclusion as to what changed. Educate says I do steroids. I think he's on a bunch of steroids. Yeah, um, so those aren't allowed in the sports that I do, <laughs> boxing or WWE. So go f yourself. Okay. Can I, can I? <laughs> no wonder bro's from Ohio. He's so fucking corny. What sort of response is this? Push his glasses forward? Well, actually, I don't use steroids because they're not allowed in the sports that I compete in. As if that stopped anyone ever. Hello? It's so obvious he's talking to literal children. The top comment on this post just sums up my thoughts exactly. The WWE doesn't allow steroids the same way weed isn't technically legal in in Amsterdam. Steroids are not allowed in the WWE. How fucking dense do you think people are? The thing to note about Logan Paul is he is probably a contractually obliged celebrity slave. Of course, Logan Paul is not gonna run around on WWE's behalf and come clean about steroid use because that would affect the entire organization's business model. Because children look up to these wrestlers and think it's real. There's just two reasons holding me back from calling out Logan Paul and boxing him. Number one, I don't fight fake natties. Number two, I would knock him out faster than I fall asleep on my mattress. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave your house. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. That's why they designed a sleep quiz that helps match your unique body type to your sleeping preferences. This way, they can find the best mattress for you. If you sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together so that you can find the best compromise for everyone. Personally, I sleep on my side and stomach, and I prefer a medium mattress feel, which is why I was matched with the Midnight Lux. I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for over two years now. And ever since I moved, I had to upgrade from a queen to a king. That's how much I love my Helix. The days of going to a mattress store to pick out a bed are over. You no longer have to sit through an annoying sales pitch only to be sold an uncomfortable, overpriced mattress. In fact, your new Helix comes to you. I actually had fun setting up my new bed. It took me just under five minutes to carry it up the stairs and watch my new mattress spring to life. You don't even have to take it from me because if Sebastian is sleeping on it, you know it's quality. If it makes you 
you nervous to buy something you haven't tried yet in person, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial. This gives you a little bit over three months to completely fall in love with your new bed. Best of all, every Helix comes with a 10 year warranty. They offer flexible payment plans and even have financing options available. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. I love my Helix and I think you would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. Go to helixsleep.com slash filion to get 20% off your new mattress plus two free pillows. And thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. Next up, we got Zerka and Bradley Martin discussing both Paul brothers' alleged steroid use. It was about the steroids. Right. In his eyes, he looked like he was telling the truth. It was genuine, not like Jake. When Jake's asked about roids, <laughs> Woodley, I don't know. Have you seen it? And no. plus, Jake's head grew as much as mine did after roids. The no. pimples and shit, like you. Jake, I don't care, regardless. I just, and I'm Jake curious. Jake aged like 10 years in a year. I'm just like, get off the Anadrol, bro. Anadrol is destroyed. So you think Logan didn't take gear? I, but here's the thing I think he did. I think he did, because I saw Derek more plates. I think he did 100%. Just, I mean, bro, I've been around this shit for. Well, if one brother's doing get the other, like, Jake is so. The aggression came out of nowhere. The head size, the beard. He got older than his dad. He looks good, though. He's a good-looking guy now. But And when, when Jake is asked and pressed by Woodley, go look at his reaction. Fear and terror. Every time Jake has to talk about PEDs, fear and terror, Logan almost like no fear maybe because he's a dumb blonde like oh what are you asking the annoying thing about all of this is we never get a clear answer but more recently logan paul had an appearance on andrew Scholl's podcast flagrant and besides andrew absolutely glazing logan the entire time and borderline fondling him by the way thanks for having me guys yeah, I, I, lo I love you guys Welcome it's always back. a good time kicking out with the boys you're doing great thanks oh, uh yeah bro i wasn't uh I was engaged. Now I'm engaged. Yo, you are, dude. I'm fucking engaged. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting the gay in it. What are you doing? Dude, what are you dude doing? he got D's, bro. Wait, did he? Why would there be stress between us? Andrew. I it's felt Andrew, the arms. Yes. No, 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 I felt the arms. No, look yeah. what happens. Very vascular. Y'all always oh, taking me out of context. Mm. There we go. There we go. Guess what I did that oh. night that I went to Jake's fight? Oh. Mm. Man, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. It was 10 rounds. It's actually hard to watch because you can see Logan get visibly uncomfortable whenever Andrew just gropes him. That's what I did that oh. night. And on the other hand, you have one of the co-hosts, Alex, seemingly the only one with balls, actually press Logan Paul during this entire podcast. To the point in which Logan Paul actually gets pressed. I feel like you don't <laughs> fuck with me. I love you. No, I really do. I fuck with you. I but really do. I just like trolling you a little bit. It's fun. But way better. <laughs> Yo, way better? Way. Okay, maybe not way, buddy. Clearly. He lied about that. He lied about wanting to go 8, 10, 12 rounds. He won't do it. He lied about the bet. He lied about me uh, denying Olympic level drug testing. He just makes Oh, really? Shit up. Did he want to do, uh, did you not care about the drug testing? I don't give a fuck. For context, there is no drug test in place for his boxing match against Dylan Dennis. But I don't even know if that would matter considering some of the compounds top level athletes take are in and out of your system in a matter of hours. Wait, really? I don't give a fuck. Yo. Nah, no, no, you gotta care. Bro, you have to be on something. You're, You're looking jazzed. crazy. Shut the fuck up. I'm being serious. You have to be on something. Shut okay. up, Andrew. Can on, you dude. can you just There's Ro nothing Rogan has admitted to it. Like, have you ever taken testosterone mm -hmm. in your life? Mm -mm. Peptides, a little peptide thing. Guys. I'm trying to be nice. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. I'm trying. Guys, bro, this, this is can't be shit. Milton? I think. Like, Milton. <laughs> this is chicken and rice, bro. This is a Puerto Rican diet. I've never I've seen a Puerto Rican with abs prime, in my life. Prime. It's, just it's honestly it's because I drink Prime. <laughs> <laughs> liver King, let's go. I know, but yeah, it's really Liver King shit, right? <laughs> like, come on, stop. All you have to do is take one look at the comment section or like to dislike ratio to see how much people hate Logan Paul. And even more so, the fact that Andrew Schultz sucked him off the entire episode. I don't mind doing eight rounds. Let's do 12 rounds. They respond to us, of bro. Of course, you think I would? I'm the, I was the one saying, let's do eight, 10 rounds. Will you do eight rounds? Bro, look at your arms. You came in last like, ten, like two minutes, so bro. Will you do eight rounds? Yeah, sure. Will you do your uh, USADA test then? I will do a USADA test. Yeah, okay. If you do an STD Take a test. right now, you'll piss right if through If you the do an STD <laughs> test and the result is public, I will do a USADA test. Okay. Notice how Logan never actually denies it. He just flips it back on Dylan and says, if you take an STD test, I'll take a USADA test. Okay, I sure. saw you go on full send and brag about having 1,500 bodies. First off, that's a yeah, okay. You're and, vile. Yeah. 
Who, who, I'm like, where, 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 where do you boy, find boy. these gremlins? How do you find 1,500 gremlins to have sex with you? Whatever compounds Logan is taking, his body is having a really hard time hiding it. His traps are separated from his neck. His triceps look constantly flexed as if he just got done fucking milking a cow. His biceps look so grainy and full, it makes no sense. And boxing in and of itself is not conducive to building new muscle mass. Sure, if you go into boxing with a lot of muscle on your frame, you'll tighten up and lean out, but my god, Logan Paul looks like he's a fucking mutant at this point. I don't know who he's trying to fool. This picture alone makes him look absolutely ridiculous next to Israel Adesanya and Alexander Volkanovsky. His biceps alone are the size of Volkanovsky's chrome dome. He looks like a cartoon character. Bro is inflated. Now this picture, which is a walking prime advertisement, set off all the alarms in my head. Bro's cephalic veins are thicker than my cock on a Tuesday afternoon. Hello? What the fuck is this picture? In all honesty, Logan Paul in this picture is under 10% body fat while holding on to all of his muscle mass. That would not happen and it sure as shit would not happen year round. He doesn't even compete or train for hypertrophy. I don't know how he has this physique. I'm not on steroids. I don't know how many times I need to clarify this. Uh, I don't know why we aren't doing USADA or VADA testing. Well, yeah, because the conversation was never had between Well, because JJ Dylan. is doing it with, with, uh... I'm more than happy to do it. Well, there you have it, folks. Logan Paul is not on steroids. Why? Because he said, I'm not on steroids. I also find it ironic that Logan Paul was eager to call out the Liver King for his steroid use, but when it comes to his own, it's the same game. Lie, lie, lie. Deny, deny, deny. Oops, it came out. Liver King was on steroids the whole time. I wonder if it's a matter of time before Logan Paul gets the same treatment. We got to talk about Liver King. Do you know that our podcast was the first public forum he said. where he was asked about doing steroids and then he got exposed for being on a Lord. I knew something wasn't right after watching all these clips because my third eye started to vibrate and I knew there had to be a small piece of evidence that points to Logan Paul at least being familiar with steroids. Interestingly enough, the topic of testosterone replacement therapy or TRT comes up quite a lot on Impulsive. Logan's lapdog Mike, Mike Maliak, is on TRT. Now in my head, your hormones gotta be all sorts of fucked up if if you're considering TRT and you're not an old man. I started on a moderate dose, but then found that I was doing very well with a very low dose. Okay. So I'm at a, I'm at a, I do a- um, Twice a week? I'm twice a week. Some people will say do, some people do every day yeah. through um, uh, thigh as opposed to the, the butt. And it's, it, you know, you can do it painlessly to yourself if you want. I've been doing just fine with twice a week. I, it, once a week, not as well because you do start to trough. Yep. Meanwhile, his best friend, Logan, who makes millions of dollars a year off of what he looks like is not on TRT. Okay. Riddle me this. If Logan Paul is natty here, what would he look like on steroids? Almost a year ago, Logan had Rob Dyrdek on his podcast, and they talked about a wide range of topics. But near the end of the episode, they talked about biohacking and living forever. And this is what Logan had to say about increasing his longevity. Crazy to think, uh, you know, you're, you're talking about being peak physical health at 55, and it's crazy to think that that's not even half of your life based on your own personal goals. You want to live 12. to be 112. That's correct. I want to live to be 150. And I think, I think I'll be able to do it. I honestly think I'll be able to do it. Why? Peptides and stem cells. Yeah. Are you, are you on stem cells? No, I'm are not you on, on stem on, cells on or peptides. But You're not on either. No. Test? But, but no. A NAD plus? No. God dang. Th this surprises me. You, the only thing you, he's you, on you is strike me as a biohacker, not a somadomer. Because yeah, the skin. But, 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 the skin. But, but I'll tell you, it's like I do do my blood work every year. But but I found we do it every week. every, every quarter week? I do my blood work. Right. So what was that? Peptide Paul? Logan Paul familiar with stem cells and peptides? Mike Maliak chirping in. You're not on test. And why the fuck would Logan Paul do his blood work every quarter? You see, this got me thinking. 
Like a dog to a bone, Peptide Paul is not escaping the third eye of truth. Now, Logan Paul didn't explicitly say that he uses stem cells or peptides in this instance, but he was surprised that Rob Deerdeck doesn't use them. In fact, he said, you don't use either of them? No, I'm not on, on stem cells on or peptides, but... You're not on either? No. Now, it's no secret, Logan Paul has said it himself, that he uses stem cells to recover for his WWE injuries. And it seems to be getting more and more common for top-level athletes to be using stem cell therapy as a way to regenerate or recover faster from any injuries they incur. Logan Paul is no different. He snapped up his knee in the WWE, and a couple weeks of stem cell therapy, he can walk fine. But what about peptides. Now I did some digging and actually found a doctor that Logan Paul has used in the past and maybe still uses today. So this video exists deep on Facebook and it's Logan Paul shouting out his doctor's daughter for being a fan. In fact, it's Dr. Raj, celebrity stem cell specialist and orthopedic surgeon. Hey, what up Sonia? It's your boy Logan. Um, heard you're a fan of my stuff, so thank you for watching. 12 years old, that's a good age. Stay in school, stay focused, and say, uh, tell your dad I said thank you for keeping me nice and healthy and healing me up. All right, peace. This video was posted in 2020, but if we go to Dr. Raj's website, maybe we can see what his practice is about. We can see he offers not only stem cell therapy, but peptide therapy. Peptides are essentially strings of amino acids or the building blocks of protein that can be injected subcutaneously to provide different functions based on whichever peptide you're getting. And yes, they can increase lean muscle mass. And they are, without a doubt, performance enhancing drugs. If you control F or command F to search the page of what peptide therapy can do for you, you get 15 results for the word muscle. And you guessed it, peptides are banned substances in professional sports. Ready for this? This is my impression of Logan Paul getting his peptides from Dr. Raj. I've been waiting all day, Dr. Raj. Give me my stem cells. I need my peptides. Call me Peptide Paul. 